Okay, so first you peel the wire with a 16 inch gauge. Uh, 16 gauge, okay? So you peel, peel with that. And then, and then you put the rubber. Uh, when you cut the wire out of the terminal that it had, so you take the wire by uh, just bending these steps. Okay, it's very easy. So you bend the tabs and then you bend the wire so you can re release the rubber. Okay, so you release the rubber and then you introduce it into the cable that you're gonna uninstall the terminal and so you put the rubber close to the edge of the insulation okay like that and you twist the wires very well and then to see if you have the right amount of wire you grab your terminal and you can see the cramping section and see you see you just need a little bit okay so you go like that and you compare how much you need it's gonna be like that so I just need to cut a little bit of each with cutting so you just go like that cut a little cut just a little tip okay and this is how you try to cut the wire that much uh, you let a hair sticking out of the cramping section you put uh, your the tops that are going to uh, hold the rubber and then you bend it a little a little bit just to hold the terminal for a second so you get ready with your crimping tools crimping tools so here you can see let's see if it focus focus um, you can see I bend the tops on the rubber a little bit so that the terminal stays there and I did that with um, I did that with the cramping tool just, just a hair light is not helping me I'm trying to uh, just leave the um, camera in, in one place but you get the Point. I just press a, a hair with a flat surface of my crimping tools and I will show you in this along this video I'm gonna show you what type of crimping tool I use for this terminal the 1.6 millimeter is gonna work perfectly okay so I'm gonna go ahead and cramp I'm gonna try to reposition the uh, camera better because the wa the terminal has to go on like that okay so the numbers facing me so that I see what number I put it and then I press down and the crimping uh, crimping the crimping uh, portion goes upwards uh, I'm not going to show be able to show with a camera holding the camera with one hand and then trying to or position the camera is very hard but uh, I will show you after it's done and I will show you in my bench, well not my bench but my table, uh, I'm going to show you how to do it. And not this specific terminal but it's the same application I have, leftovers of other uh, blade but it's the same principle. You can see my cramping, a little bit of wire sticking out, maybe in this case a little bit too much 
but um, it's gonna work and see the cramping there it's almost perfect now I'm just gonna vent the rubber tops a little bit more and that's it and here you have the other side uh, this is about the right amount that you want to leave your uh, cramping uh, material crimping material they keep saying cramping scrimping material or a nav wire that goes into the crimping section right okay just like that it's a little bit sticking out now I'm gonna proceed with bending the tops on the rubber and crimping and I'll show you the end result okay so this is how they look little bit of material sticking out but uh, I don't think it's a big deal uh, it's, it was kind of uh, uncomfortable but uh, the crimping section is uh, the important part and now I'm gonna show you how it goes into the housing the orange we know on the wiring of the um, BMW the orange or the color uh, color uh, in this particular uh, particular uh, wire which is the heating element for the PCV uh, it's orange that means it's power and it goes on the slot on number one and brown is uh, word ground so And so you grab the new one is identical to not identical but uh and you can see it has numbers right so number one it's the power number two is the ground and this it the slot is bigger than than the original one so i'm gonna this is an original from a part out car from an E60 with an N52 engine and this is the original BMW that comes with a car and uh, you can distinguish it by the part number by let's see it should say VM somewhere uh, just uh, let's see because I have so many of these uh, that I pull you can pull them out out of any bent pipe and you can see that little top is not broken you just lift this gate a little bit to release the locking you don't bend it if you have to bend it then it's okay but don't break break this gate okay and so you see the difference is the slotted part the slotted part on this one is just a little chance and so you grab the new one is identical to not identical but uh and you can see it has numbers right so number one it's the power number two is the ground and this it the slot is bigger than than the original one so i'm gonna this is an original from a part out car from an E60 with an N52 engine and this is the original BMW that comes with a car and uh, you can distinguish it by the part number by let's see it should say VM somewhere uh, just uh, let's see because I have so many of these uh, that I pull you can pull them out out of any bent Pipe. and you can see that little top is not broken you just lift this gate a little bit to release the locking you don't bend it if you have to bend it then it's okay but don't break break this gate okay and so you see the difference is the slotted part the slotted part on this one is just a little channel 
and on this one it's just a it's a big fat channel but it's it's going to work out because um, it's just gonna work out because it's bigger and it can function on, a, on different devices I guess that's why they make it they make it and this is original this is what BMW sells you okay and I uh, don't see I'm trying to put as many pictures of or video images of this because I don't know if we can see the poor number there see the porn number then we're gonna look for a BMW logo mm -hmm. it doesn't have it but it's okay boom, boom, boom. Now <clears throat> you grab the orange, you localize which one is number one. So number one is the one on the left. So we put this one on the left. with uh, crimping upwards towards these um, locking devices this the gate and that's where that's how it's gonna lock if you put it backwards it just won't fit so I'm making room so that I can push so if it doesn't want to go either bent we're gonna have to bend make sure you don't lock the gate bend the tops a little bit more the rubbing tops and almost goes and if you can't get it out I'm gonna see if I can get it out up it's going little by little you grab um, you can get a little blade in there and just stick it in between the wire insulation and the rubber And you can hear a click there. Then you close the gate. If it doesn't want to close, that means the other one is not in there. We're going to push it some more. And you can hear a click there. 
Then you close the gate. If it doesn't want to close, that means the other one is not in there. We're going to push it some more. Now it's closed.